Hello there, everybody. My name is Wolfie. Oh! and welcome back to another Q&A. This is where I take your questions from the last Q&A and try to answer as many of them as I possibly can in today's Q&A. Now, it has been quite a while since we've done one of these and I am very excited to be back to doing these. A lot's been going on. I've been very busy, so I haven't had a chance to do one of these. But like I said, I am definitely happy to be back to doing one of these because we both, you guys like them, I like them. But anyways, let's jump into it and get started. The first question gets answered 100% guaranteed, no ifs, ands, or buts. And that question is... Wolfie, are you planning to ever do a face reveal? Um, I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Um, if I do do it, I want to hit a really high sub goal, like a really huge amount of subs. But, um, we'll see. I'm kind of on the fence about it, so I'm not 100% sure how I feel. But we'll see what happens in the future. Wolfie, you didn't read my question, so I'm gonna beat you up. Take your lunch money. Would you like a knuckle sandwich and a bloody Sunday? Whoa, buddy, buddy, you need to calm down and back up because you better check yourself before you wreck yourself. You hear me? <laughs> Get back in the dungeon. Get back in the dungeon where you belong. Wolfie, what does BM mean when you are a killer and the survivors do it to you? Well, basically, BM means bad manners. And that's usually if someone's like trolling you or being very toxic to you and they don't really care too much about the game, they just want to like be annoying. And that's like teabagging you, taunting you at the pallet, and you're just being you're just being very rude. There's no reason for it. Like you gotta go out of your way to do it. So I mean there's just there's just no reason for it. You don't ever wanna be teabagged. Corpse. Teabag. Yeah, how's that taste? There's just no need for it whatsoever. That's why if you BM me, I'm gonna BM you back. Wolfie, what do you think about your recent bulge of growth? <laughs> why did you choose the word bulge? <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure you're talking about my YouTube channel, right? Um, I think it's crazy. It's insane. Like one day I was at 6K, like Q&A, this, the last Q&A was at 7K, and now I'm at 17K. Just out of nowhere, just blew up, and I think it's insane. You guys are crazy. But I am I really do appreciate it. You guys are awesome, and I, I'm so happy that all of you are here with me. It's, it's really great. I love it. So thank you guys all so much. I really, really do appreciate it. Wolfie, if you could have any survivor as a best friend in real life, who would it be and why? Well, I feel like the best survivor that you could have as a best friend in real life would honestly be Claudette because she can heal you and take care of you and watch after your health, which is really awesome. She's pretty much like a nurse, a medic, which is cool. And, um, I mean, I don't know about Meg. Meg would just run away from you. I mean, girls already do that to me as it is. <laughs> girls already run away as it is. <laughs> and, um... Oh, ooh, Quentin though. Quentin's a gamer because he, he never sleeps so he can game. Oh, that'd be awesome. I feel like Claudette though would probably be the best choice. Wolfie, do you have any ideas of upcoming projects for Dead by Daylight or other games and channel growth? If so, what are they? Um, I'm glad you asked actually. I do have some ideas of other games that I really, really want to get into. And I do have a project coming up for Dead by Daylight that I'm working on. It should be done by next month, and I think you guys would really like it. But one game I really want to play is The Hunt Showdown. This game looks freaking awesome. I've been stalking this game for a while now, and I, I just I want to play it. It's like a horror game. I don't know if you guys know of Division, but think about Division when it was good. And think about if Division was horrified, and it's like a horror survival game where you kill people, take their stuff, take their gold, and you gotta survive, you kill monsters. It, it's so cool. It looks like so, so much fun. And I, can, I can't wait to play it. I've been, I've been camping it for a while, so I cannot wait. And then the other game that I really wanna play would be last year. Last year has been in devel development hell for a long, long time. And last year, if you're wondering what it is, it's basically just like Dead by Daylight, 
where there's survivors and you can play as a killer or a survivor and you hunt down survivors and kill them. I cannot wait to play this game. I mean, they just both look so awesome and I cannot, I just, like I said, I, I just, I'm excited for them and I, I cannot wait to, I, hopefully I get in the beta or the alpha because I really want to and I think it would be a lot of fun to actually play these games because I'm definitely, definitely looking forward to it. But those are my ideas and projects that I have coming up and I, I just, I just can't wait. I want them now. <laughs> hey, David, you should be king. <laughs> I see what you did there. I also saw you play with Monto before. Did I play with Monto before? I don't think so. I don't recall playing with him before. I mean, I might have got into a game with him randomly, maybe, but that's just, that's bound to happen eventually. We both play the same game, so I wouldn't be surprised. But I don't recall ever playing with him like out of my own free will, so... I mean, it's possible, I guess. Wolfie, do you make your own thumbnails and or would you either hire an artist to do them in the future? Um, in the future, if I'm making a lot of money from YouTube and everything else, uh, probably I wouldn't mind hiring someone. Um, but right now I do everything. I literally do all of my own stuff. I do my thumbnails. I do my editing. I do legit everything. And sometimes it takes hours to do some things. And, you know, I, I kind of like it that way because I, I have full control of what's going on. And I do think some people have artists do their thumbnails because some thumbnails look freaking beautiful and amazing. I love how some people's thumbnails just look so awesome. But I'm also partially lazy too. <laughs> Sometimes I just I just kind of make things like simple as possible because it takes way too long to edit everything. Um, so yeah, I, I basically do all of my my own stuff. Wolfie, can you twerk like Meg? <laughs> um, I don't think Meg can twerk anymore with the new camera angle, but maybe. Um, can I twerk like Meg though? I mean, I can give it a try. Oh boy, Whoa, that was a lot of work. I think I did pretty good. How do you guys think? You think I did pretty good? You think I got 10 out of 10 maybe? Wolfie, can I appear in the video? Sure. Hi. Wolfie, are you a cosplay fan? And if you are, do you cosplay? Oh my God, that is a great question. Okay, so I do really like it when people cosplay. I like seeing people dress up and get all fancy and get to do things that they really enjoy and like doing, such as cosplaying. And I, I'm I'm a big fan of that. I like I used to have exes uh, who were girlfriends at my time who would cosplay. They would dress up as their favorite characters and they would cosplay. And I, I love it. I loved it. I had an ex at one time who was my girlfriend at the time in the past had me cosplay as a Bleach character. I believe his name was Shue. He had a 69 on his face. <laughs> and they had me dress up as Shue. So basically, if you know who Shue is, he basically, I, I kind of look like him, kind of. Um, so if you kind of am curious how I look, well, there you go. Pretty much just look at him. And I, I had, oh my god, I just remembered. I had so many girls liking me because I was dressed up as Shue. <laughs> Oh no, I just remembered. Oh, I remembered how embarrassing it was because, oh, and people cheered me on. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh my god. Moving on to the next question. Wolfie, am I <laughs> what, what kind of question is that? Oh my god. I mean, you can't be that dumb if you're watching my videos, so there you go. Wolfie, if you could add a killer or survivor in Dead by Daylight, who or what would it be? Well, I wouldn't add a survivor ever because all survivors are literally the same. They're all the same. Unless they do something about teachables, all survivors are legit the same, just different skins. There's nothing different about them whatsoever. Um, killers though, killers are very different unless you're Leatherface and Billy, even though they are slightly different. Um, but I would add, I have talked about this before, I believe, and I really want Slender Man, either Slender Man in the game with no heartbeat or terror radius, uh, but when he gets closer to you, your screen starts to get blurry, so you know he's coming, 
Um, I think that would be awesome. Or Pyramid Head, where he always does double damage, but he's really slow. I think those two would be really great to add to this game. Wolfie, has there ever been matches where you get into a lobby with other Dead by Daylight YouTubers or streamers? And if so, then who? Um, I mean, there's a lot of people who play Dead by Daylight. There's 17,000 people playing it daily, uh, most often anyways. And you're bound to run into you other YouTubers and streamers. I run into YouTubers and streamers that play Dead by Daylight almost all the time. Like, almost every other game, it happens. Um, it's bound to happen. A lot of people play it. A lot of people love Dead by Daylight, and it's just it's just a really fun and good game. So, I mean, you're, it's, it's bound to happen. Um, I don't remember who, really. I don't really have it in my mind who I uh, really ran into. I just I just play with them. They're just, they're just people to me. Um, but uh, I usually try to make sure everyone gets out alive, whether you're, you're a YouTuber or a streamer, unless I'm killer. But, yeah, it's, it's bound to happen. It happens to pretty much everyone. Wolfie, cool videos. Definitely entertaining. Aw, thank you. If you were to buff Freddy, what would you buff on him or change on him? Oh, man, Freddy. Ugh, boy, Freddy. Freddy, Freddy, Freddy. Um, what would I change on Freddy? Well, keep in mind, for the longest time, the Wraith was the weakest killer because when he comes out of stealth, he can't do anything to you for three seconds, which is actually a big, big deal. And Freddy can't do anything for seven seconds every time he wants to do something, which is really, really bad. I don't know why they thought that would be good whatsoever. Um, and I know you could say, well, you, Wolfie, you could use add-ons to make him better, make them go to sleep faster. Yeah, but your add-ons shouldn't be what makes your killer good enough to get a four-man or kill. If you had to rely on add-ons, you are flat out saying your killer is bad. If you had to rely on add-ons like the Wraith does, it's 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 just bad. Just make them faster. Just make them put people to sleep faster, and that's pretty much it. If I paid you one million dollars, would you use Dark Sense, No Mither, Dark Sense, and Self Care? Um, <laughs> if you're gonna pay me a million dollars to suffer for one game. I, I don't mind. I'll do it. I'll do it. Give me the million dollars and I will suffer for one game to be a million dollars richer. I would I would love, love that. Wolfie, will you play more survivors than Dwight and Claudette? Um, yeah, sure. I don't really mind. Uh, the only reason I play those two is because they have every perk in the game. And yet again, all survivors are the same. But once I get more perks on other survivors, sure, I don't mind playing other survivors. I'll, I'll do it. Hey Wolfie, it's nice to just spend my day binge watching your videos. This definitely helps me take my mind off some crap. Aww. What if the devs made a gameplay option where there are two killers and six survivors? Now that I think about it, that's just stupid. Oh well, thank you for reading my question, winky face. <laughs> um, I don't think that's stupid. There's honestly no real stupid questions here in my opinion. Uh, I accept all questions, and to be fair, I have thought about the same thing. But except for my thought was two killers and eight survivors. Most people have already mentioned this to the devs though. And I think it would be really cool to have a game mode where you can have that. But on the other hand, the problem is that if you make another game mode, then it splits the community up, which is really bad. Because that means you have more people playing one game mode than another game mode. Which then means your queues go from slow to very, very super slow. Which is really, really bad. And you, do, you do not want that. I have no idea what they could do about this to fix it. I have no, honestly no idea. But it would be a really cool idea in my opinion. Wolfie, what DVD characters do you ship together? Um, well, duh, that's obvious. Billy and Trapper, duh. Come on, they're like bros. They love each other. <laughs> um, but being serious, though, I would ship Dwight and Claudette because, come on, of course I would. They're both my mains. Why wouldn't I? Duh. I would ship those two. Wolfie, when is the face reveal? Like, at what sub count? I will try my best to make my friends happy and enjoy your videos. And subbing. By the way, I saw your hand, Wolfie. You can't deny it. Ah, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't, I mean, Bob, 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 Bob. 
you need to calm down, buddy. You you are getting a little a little too close to the truth there, man. You need to you need to step back a bit, just you know, relax and calm down. But when is the face reveal? You know what? Here it is. Since you guys keep asking me this over and over, I am going to show you guys my face here and today. Make sure you have your screenshots ready because here is my face. Oh man, that was quick too. Eh. I'm glad you guys got your pictures though. So now that I have finally showed you my face, I will no longer ever be showing my face again in the future unless we reach a certain really big sub count. So I'm glad I can make all you guys happy. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll move on to our final question for the day. Wolfie, can you date me? Well, that is going to be it for Q&A today. I'm going to be ending this episode here. Thank you guys all so much for leaving questions on the last Q&A for me to be able to make this video for you guys. Now, make sure you do go down in the comments and leave a comment with a hashtag AskWolfie followed by your question so it can have a possible chance to be featured in the next Q&A. Also, make sure you do like comments because comments with the most likes will get answered 100% guaranteed no matter what it is. So make sure you do come back and like comments every now and then. Also, I am sorry if your question did not get answered in this video. Do make sure to leave your question down below again and hopefully it'll be answered in the next one. I can only answer so many questions, guys. I do my best and I am... I am really, really sorry if it did not get answered. Anyways, thank you guys all so, so much for watching. And I'll be seeing all of you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh my God, oh my God, if I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, I know I was always repping. Oh my God, my whole life, my words been my greatest weapon. I know I, I know I.